December last year, I be January. Me and one of my friends were coming now from Prime Chinese. If you know Lagos, you know Prime Chinese very well. They are coming out from Prime Chinese. That's how we saw in the other bad mouth. So, in the other bad mouth, you know, say in the other bad mouth, she like all the surgery guests, the possession guests. That's why she see my friend. Where do the possession? She can't stop that one. I mean, I can't tell that one. Me, she go and say in the other bad mouth. Make a year with in the other bad mouth, one tell her. Because that one, I guess if you see. Now, so my friend go answer in the other bad mouth. Do you people believe that in the other bad mouth took her number and told her she had a chairman for her? Person where you don't know before, you just see her shape. You don't know that person right. You just meet her, say you had a chairman for her. Make it make sense. Life at Thai Chinese, it happened in my life before. My friend called, called tell me, say this is what in the other bad mouth told her. I say, yeah. You do not tell her you are somebody for yourself. She said, no, me, she no, she no go go, so she don't need, no need, she just, she just want, she just want, just see everything in your other bad mouth, want talk. So in your other bad mouth, is a professional pimp. <laughs> when I say, they don't say, you know, so she was a former seller of her Gucci to all these politicians. When I know, yes, I mean, they tell her. She was a former seller of her Gucci to all these politicians. As I say, she don't know old, but that time, she still didn't know the wood, that time, she still, and she said, and they say, now why she, oh God, if I start to talk now, eh, when I go home, you, when I go home, you, let me, let me, let me hit the head in the nail, I be, let me hit the wall in the nail. When, eh, uh, in the other bad months, when she was telling her, push it to all these politicians, make sure for the, make sure for the girl relevant in the, uh, politician, uh, chair, you know, say, when I know when she, in the other bad months, don't they fight? To, 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 to belong in politics. Una no. See all these ones. She has been fighting since when she did in Hollywood. Since when she don't fight, when she be a robber, 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 robber. That's when she started fighting. So they don't use you. All of, all of them don't fuck the life out of the Nola bad mouth. I'm sorry to say, but that's my honest truth. Now, they know they, she know, you better say, I think they expire now. So now, they can't employ her. Make sure for they connect them to all these small, small girls who just do surgery. So that's our occupation. Um, gossip culture can be defined as a culture that values and promotes the sharing of personal and often salacious information about public figures. Fake news, on the other hand, refers to intentionally spreading false information presented as if it were real news. Upon confrontation by Eniola Badmos, who involved the law, Okoye Blessing Owakego confessed and was recorded apologizing to the actress, saying it, it was all orchestrated and she was paid to spread the rumor to pay her rent. Mm -hmm. Cyberstalking is a pervasive issue that has profound psychological and emotional consequences for victims. The court heard that the offense contravenes sections 21, 24, 1B, and 2 AC and 27 of the Cyber Crimes Act 2015. And by penalizing the offender, the court has taken a firm stance against such behavior, emphasizing the significance of upholding online safety and holding individuals accountable for their actions in the digital realm. Now, the spread of fake news can be attributed to a variety of factors, including the rise of gossip and the blog market. A lack of media literacy, confirmation bias, social media algorithms that prioritize engagement over accuracy and deliberate efforts by individuals or groups to manipulate public opinion. So today we're asking, is gossip culture a driver of fake news? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation and send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You could also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag Ways show i mean we've all seen that video and we've all seen um I, this is something that has been in the news for the entire um week i mean as a matter of fact i think since the weekend apparently and when i saw <laughs> in fact th that, that judge when i saw yesterday i'm like that's not even fair enough why are they giving that fine of 150,000 naira? that's too small you should have paid maybe like three million naira so compared to 150,000 naira. So it was three years. It's small. It's ridiculous. So it was it's three years. Was paid 200 k to pay her rent. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, she does not have that money. So it's not small. And no, but people I mean, can rally around now. Compared to being in prison for three years. Yeah, they should have given her in, in millions. So I know that's... it's supposed to be about maybe like seven million or something. 
I even thought it would be about maybe two million naira or something. At least one point five million. One hundred and fifty thousand naira is nothing. Yeah, so that they learn. I, I don't understand how people just wake up and decide to, you know, spread news that is not. You've not even confirmed the accuracy of the news. People just wake up and. This is different. She said she claimed she mm, was, was there. there. She was there. So she's a witness to her own, you know, her own sentencing. So it's worse. <laughs> mm. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I think we'd even like to hear from the viewers. Uh, you know, let's let's uh, let's open our phone lines so that we can actually hear from the viewers and hear what it is that their opinions on this while while we discuss because it's such a ridiculous um, what's it called ridiculous matter. First things first. Okay, you claim that so because her story now is that someone some other guy paid her some money to you know go ahead to spread this news about Eniola Badmo. So I have different questions. Fine, she's a tic popular TikToker apparently. And so you picked up your microphone, you put your tripod stand and the camera, and then you had the Let's guts <laughs> to sit there and spread such news. So what were you thinking? Were you thinking it wasn't going to spread as much as it did? Were you thinking it wasn't going to reach as many people as it did? Did you think Eniola Badmo was not going to get to hear about it? I'm wondering what were the things that were going through her mind? You know. she, she probably didn't think you would get this far. You know, in her head, she's just doing, oh, it's just TikTok now. People hear about it, they'll spread a rumor, and they never have time well, to die down. Interesting. You know, but I'm, I'm also very happy about this because it will also teach people a lesson to say that, yes, social media gives us access to, you know, open our mouths and say whatever we want, but, you know, um, you should always verify your news. And gossip is not the way forward. Don't try to defame other individuals just to, you know, bring out your own success. So I'm happy this went to court. I'm happy a Nigerian court can give a verdict, you know, whether um, three years is, is too small or not, whether the fine is too small. Regardless, it will be a wake up to every other person to say, okay, if you like come outside and say rubbish, somebody else is going to drag you and put you to, to the book. So, mm -hmm. Jenny, before I, I hear your thoughts, sorry, let me just quickly open our phone line. The number to call is 070 7749. Again, the number to call is 070 We can't wait to hear your thoughts. Is gossip, um, <clears throat> is gossip culture actually proper? We can't wait to hear, to hear from you. Jenny, let's go ahead. All right, um, just to give a little bit of context, right, because I feel like there are things people do online and they feel like it's not, it's not bullying. There's nothing wrong. Right. right? Um, so cyberbullying basically is the use of electronic communication to bully a person, typically by sending a message or posting a message or even videos or mm. even voice notes, mm. right, um, intimidating or threatening the person. Right, that's cyberbullying. Now, in situations where something is happening, um, let's say Twitter, for example, because Twitter is one platform that um, I wouldn't say Twitter as a brand itself encourages cyberbullying, but the users of Twitter are like big pioneers, <laughs> and, 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 and there's so much toxicity <laughs> all on there. So they push for cyberbullying. So something comes up, and maybe one person drops a story. And before you know it, the comments, the comments are, are ridiculous. I think another another platform or brand that also does something like that is Instablog, right? Instablog posts <coughs> things about people, and when you go to the comment section, it is a mess. And I always tell people, if you see somebody you know, mm. your family member, mm. or even your love partner, <laughs> and they've made a comment that, that is very negative. I think you should be very weary of that person, <laughs> right? Because it, it, it makes no sense to me why you would call out somebody and everything that comes out of your mouth, everything you're writing, so is just so negative. Crazy. You can't you can't do that, especially when you don't even have facts. Mm -hmm. You don't have facts. Sometimes people people tweet things or post or do some posts, right? Um, they probably do it because. You know, I'm just chasing clout. Mm. I just want people to, to retweet what I'm saying. I want to have a lot of retweets. I want my posts to have 10 million likes, that kind of thing. And, but, but then, you know, deep down, you're not being serious about it. I remember a time where people would post, um, when cyberbullying became a, a, a lot on Twitter, you see people who would post um, um, these memes where the person is just say, saying in one, one rough corner in their house, their mattress is on the floor. They probably be 
there's no frame, there's nothing, right? You have nothing to your name. But when you tweet online, because there is no face, you have the boldness to call people out. You have the boldness to be negative, to bully people online. And people are like, you know what, if you're living in this kind of situation, why would you come out to insult somebody? But I don't even think there's a basis for that, right? Whether you're poor, you're rich, you're middle class, you own the entire world, you have nothing to your name, or you're even the president, it doesn't give you any right mm. to bully another person. It doesn't even matter. You're not supposed to do that. What this lady did to Eniola Badmos, it is wrong on every level. And I honestly think 150K is so small. They need to charge you. For somebody who is poor, if you are popular on TikTok, mm -hmm. if you have money. Her TikTok, her TikTok eh? should raise funds for you, they, <laughs> they should help you, right? Go fund me. Again. Because if you call yourself popular and you feel like you have followers, you want to bully another person. So your followers will join you to also bully the person. Then you should be able to tell your followers to help you pay your rent. I know, right? You know, I had the most shocking thing today. Someone, uh, in fact, as much as our producer was having a conversation with Omola, and she mentioned a name, a very popular person, and how the person told her that um, the person was actually, used to be a cyber troll. And I could not believe it for the life of me. I'm like, wait, what? So I used to hear these things, right? But I just always feel like, it's just some music. But this person is actually a permanent person in the social media space. So imagine that this person used to actually pick up his phone, and if you come for him, he comes for you like... And he explains why he is the way he is today. Because even as popular as he is now, if you come at him, he's giving you back 10,000 times, right? But, I mean, I understand that cyberbullying is a very... It's, it's, it's something that... The, I, I, there's an act for cyber crimes if we actually go into the whole... If we go into law and all of that, there's, there are prohibitions and prevention mm. and all of that, right? But I think that we need to take it more seriously because this is the kind of things that happen when we talk about online safety. It's not all about fraud on the internet or cyber security and all that. Online safety is actually a big deal, you know? And I, I don't know why people have so much confidence. They're keypad warriors. Something happens, and the next thing you're picking up your phone and you're just da -da 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 and you realize that this person is somebody that can't even stand in front of whoever it is that they are talking about mm, yeah. in real time. You know, you just find confidence behind your, your phone or behind your device to say whatever nonsense it is that you feel like waking up to say that day. But then let's look at it from this point the blogging market, right? It thrives on it. Because this is why you mentioned mm. a certain a certain um, blog on on Instagram. That's how they are. And people, like, do you know? Funny enough, it's time I want to find my what's in the news. That's where we go. Before I, I even go to, to you know our popular I um, news papers, I always go there to see because the truth is sometimes there are news that are there, but then their headlines annoy me sometimes because mm. I'm like, wait, what is the meaning of this? Because by the time you read this story, yes. it doesn't particularly correlate to, with, with what the headline is. Yeah, but the is. headline is to bring it, is to draw, it's your, to draw your attention. I get it. But then let's just be very careful and wary of what we actually put out there. Sometimes, another one is very popular one that we know, even though we know that it brings us accurate gist sometimes. Yes, but, you know... So I feel like the way the, the story is coined, the kind of words that are used, the abuse, verbal abuse and all of that, I can't even start to imagine how the person involved feels, feels. you know, at that time. Now, let's even look at Linda Keiji. This is how Linda Keiji actually became very popular through, you know, um, I'm not saying spreading fake news now, but spreading news, you know, blogging and all. But the thing is now some people have now turned it around and are now using it for bad. They, are, they have now left, you know, what it should be in the first place. Because the truth is, we are, we've all become digital now. Before, the likes of Punch and Vanguard and Co. became digital and we could now go to Punch and Instagram and all that. We were not reading, for a while, we're not, we were not reading newspapers, right? Yeah. So we're really depending on these blogs Blog, to yeah. bring us um, news and information. And we're doing the right thing until at some point we just started seeing... Oh, now, another one is now even the individual, um, like this popular TikToker. They're now guys, oh, they're now people on Instagram that's now spread their own news for clout. Yeah. And also to drive traffic to their page and to gain followers as well. Why? I don't know why. It, it, people will do a lot for well, the funniest reasons. And fame and popularity has become our poison for today. And no one bothers about the effect it has mm. on the society, mm. on the individual, mm. on the family, or what have you. A lot of marriages have been, you know, dissolved. A lot of relationships have been dissolved. There's been a lot of murder this year. And this is from relationships. 
due to he said this, she said that, they said what, then I believe it and I act on it without clarification and thereby ending me in three years imprisonment. Mm. So I think I'm going to come from the point of fake news and its effects. I think people, we need to bring that to the forefront, yeah, the effect of this. Because for the longest time in recent times, I look around and I see a lot of inhumane gestures and behaviors and outbursts from people who are supposed to be blood, mm. even family, close friends and all that. And you hear a lot of things. It's the people who are closest to you that are that make you, you're the easiest target to them. They know your whereabouts, they know how you think, they've grown up with you. And that's why sometimes we find ourselves falling prey to maybe like family members. You know this family member is no good. So every time they show up, you're trying to avoid, but you fall victim. Mm. And you have to do this thing for family. But when it comes to like fake news, you see, the part that really hurts is the fact that it's not true. Mm. But due to the fact that people are bored, tired of their own lives, can't face their own truths, people decide it's easier mm -hmm. to sit around the table and drink a cup of tea on someone else's, Mata. you know, matter. <laughs> yeah. And it's interesting sometimes. It started yeah. as gossip. Gossip was just bored people sitting around and you're talking about something and some of it is educational because you get to learn because everyone is expressing themselves in different ways. Like when we talk about watermelon now, we had different expressions. Yeah. It's, it, starts off, it started off like that, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. talking about different things. The same way Instagram started off with nice pictures and all that until now we're cyberbullying mm. and cyber stalking. You know, all we bother about is who's following us, how many followers do we have. You can't even have a conversation with, with someone without them feeling you're inferior because you don't have enough followers. Mm. And you're wondering, why do I need people on the outside to be... a uh, Validation to yeah. my life and mm -hmm. accreditation to what I do in my life. I understand if you like it. It's fine. Everyone it was not made out to be that way. Of but course. you know, we're all different in our own ways. I've chosen to accept you, choose to accept me. But internet has now evolved and with that evolution has come a lot of hatred. Mm. So it's so easy for you to go on your phone and look through someone's life and you hear someone who is single say Ah, thank God I'm not married to this kind of man. You cannot get married. <laughs> no. It's not because, because really, as you're leaving and judging others, what are you doing to make yourself that woman that, you, that no man would cheat on? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Yeah, you're not Instead, you're trying to get into someone else's head. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. And you're trying to live their life for them. So it doesn't... You know, we have to start by even very. Where does verification come in? As now that social media is out there, we should all see ourselves as journalists. And mm -hmm. there is even a rule and a guideline exactly. to journalism. Exactly. Exactly. There's a guideline. Mm -hmm. You know, there are things, and, and I think this is where, you know, countries like China take, like, lockdown, like, crack down on these kind of things. Because once they have, like, an internet, maybe uh, something is sipping through their systems, they just lock all the avenues. And that way, they protect what they have within. Mm -hmm. So we have to get to the point where we start to protect our own. And this starts from, well, adults, we're trying to learn on the go, but that's why they're protecting their children. They're protecting their next generation because mm -hmm. that's, the, that's their lineage. Their Do, that's their future. Mm -hmm. We don't care about our future. And that's because we have become very selfish as individuals. Because when you care about how the next person feels, mm -hmm. then you will care how you react. You will care how you... I, have a, I go through social media also. I see a lot of news. Some of them, I have some reaction. I'll be, you know, things like that. You say, ah, this person deserves this. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is that. You share it with your friends as a way of either relieving yourself, mm. spreading information, which is maybe I have something and you've been asking me for it. I've gone on a holiday. You want it, I send you a page. So... Their, their usefulness for social media. But we've gone past that, and now we're using it to target people. It's like a, it's like a mobile gun. Mm. Because people have been known to die from certain experiences that they've had. Yeah. There was recently, last <clears throat> week, there was a boy that encountered a lady online. And there was a sexual act that was carried out. Mm. And while that was happening on video, she recorded it. 
And then soon after, she sent him, this was like, a, I think it was like 19, 18, somewhere between 16 and 19, not 2 or 20. It's not, you know, within yeah. that ballpark. And they started, you know, stalking him, telling him, you know, they started sending him suicidal messages and everything. Eventually, his dad went out one day, came back and found his son dead in, in, the, in the house. And then looking through his phone, started seeing all these messages that, you know, so now they call it, um, um, I don't know the word that they call it, but this thing is evolving into a monster that we cannot control. So if we do not start now to watch ourselves as individuals and say, I'm, go I'm not going to be a part of this. Yeah. And from one person, we are tw two, 200 and something million people in Nigeria. If you can get at least 100 million people to Think like human beings. Trust me. We'll be living a better life in Nigeria. And that goes all the way down. I'm not just talking about the internet. The moment we start behaving like we care about the next person, I'm mm. not just saying it. It's not just sending a hat emoji. Because it has even gotten that bad. Now you don't even have to say anything on yeah. social media. Everything is an emoji. <laughs> and we're all guilty of it. Someone sends you a heart-wrenching message. Yes, yeah. you, you just like send, so You know you can just like the message. Yeah. Send, is that reaction to that? <laughs> you can just like the message now, so you're not even saying it. Just, that reaction. Like yeah. it. Mm. Everybody, so you don't get that feeling that this person really felt. You don't even know how the person reacts to you. You just see that love message. Say, okay, I guess she likes it. <laughs> then if you send them now, you know, there are different cryptic messages that people send with emojis and stuff. So there's a lot going on, and it takes a lot of catching up. I don't even know how people are able to, keep you know, mm. keep up because it's hard. I've been accused so many times. <laughs> But it's so hard because I feel like there's a lot more to live in. And living is actually being alive to be there present. Yeah. You're at an event. And nowadays, that's the one that sometimes, see, once I am on my phone most of the time, yeah, it means that I'm probably bored. There's not much to do. I don't know how many, I don't know a lot of people within the environment and mm. all that. But now you go out with your friends, your close friends. And everyone. And everybody's on their phone. Still on their and you're like, why are we all here? Why don't we just do Zoom call? <laughs> like, if we had done Zoom call, you get on what you're doing, yeah, I get on what I'm doing, and we're just thinking. Mm -hmm. Everyone can multitask. You think I left my house, did makeup, and came out to spend money that I can eat? I have yeah. and food in the house. Like, now even relationships are down to phones. Mm. I can be sitting beside you. And I'm laughing on Instagram. Mm. Ha, 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 ha. And I'm right beside you. And I say, you know, Jennifer, I'm going to send you something. Then I send this to you. Then you're laughing. Ha, ha. You're laughing at your phone. I'm <laughs> laughing with my phone. Aren't we crazy? Yeah. I mean, so uh, coming back to the, the topic, right? This gossip culture driver for fake news. I strongly believe that it is. Yeah. Right, it's yeah, very it normal to gossip. It's, I, I mean, we would always have something to gossip about, right? But let's try as much as possible to always verify whatever it is that we're saying, especially as as bloggers or as social media content creators or whatever it is. When there's a story, try to find out what the real story is. Try to find out if it is true, if it is not true, before you spread it. Or even if you're even going to post it to maybe drag traffic or something. Put it a lay disclaimer. I like somebody that so there's someone, there's a particular person on Instagram that says allegedly, allegedly, that's what he says, allegedly, something allegedly, because he's not sure of what it is. That way, if it comes mm. back, it's not going to come back to yeah. bite you in the butt. Because I mean, you put out a disclaimer saying, I'm not sure about this, but then this is the news that is going on. Because the truth is, there would always be gossip, there would always be some news going going around. I also like the the the, the court's judgment, although I'm not happy with the fact that the fine was the amount that it was. But I like the fact that they actually did something about it. They acted on it as soon as possible. So this would actually um, act Service. as a, you know, a serve as a warning to other, other cyber trolls as well, or other cyber stalkers or cyber and celebrities. And celebrities that they're above the law. Exactly. For because them to realize popular. that she's popular yeah. on TikTok, TikTok yeah. Who, who, so that they can realize that, look, you can't just be behind your keypad and just, you know, talk and say whatever it is that you want and spread whatever news it is that you want and the law will not come after you. I'm happy about what is happening in our, in our judiciary system now um, in, in Nigeria. These things, they're actually um, laws, they're actually cyber security. It's a crime, actually, that you can be convicted for, like we have seen with Nwakego's case. And hopefully, none of us fall, fall victim for it. Um, any final words? I think we have a comment, yeah. uh, Mary. Yeah. Um, good evening, my, be my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. 
Actress Eniola Badmos effects arrest of arrest of lady who defamed her. Everything that my dear beautiful sister Jennifer said was true. How can someone just come out and say such thing about someone in public? It is very wrong. That lady should be dealt with and sanctioned. Supposing someone else does the same to her, how would she feel? Facts don't lie. If we do not have genuine facts about something, let us keep news. She be the lady is looking for money. She cannot look for money this way. I rest my case for now. Nice having a full studio today because it's been a while. God bless you, beautiful ladies. My name is Daniel Inouye's regular fan. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daniel. It's always yeah. great to hear from you. Um, yeah, our time is very fast spent. <laughs> but then we'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> And uh, we can't wait. But then uh, before you go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Wayshow Africa. You can also interact with us. Further, follow us on um, Twitter as well at Wayshow Africa. Remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. Never settle for half the story and make up and imagine the rest. Get the full story always. This is by R-O-I-C-O-I-J. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. All right.